Hi, my name is Aaron Hensley. I'm an engine tech rep for Malibu Boats here in beautiful Loudoun, Tennessee. Today we're going to show you how to do an alignment. The engine that we will be using will be the 6.2 Malibu Monsoon engine. When you start your alignment, you want to check to make sure that your side to side is correct. What do I mean by side to side? The side to side is that the coupler from the transmission and the coupler from the prop shaft is going to be flush with each other. So if your transmission coupler is offset port or offset starboard, you're going to have to move your transmission port or starboard. It is helpful to think of the coupler in terms of a clock. 12 o'clock on top, 6 o'clock on the bottom, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Once you have your side to side correct, go ahead and seat your coupler. While seating your coupler, this is where you're going to run your feeler gauge. Note that you need to hold the coupler together. So the feeler gauge you should be using is three thousandths of an inch. What that means is, if you can get three thousandths of an inch in between the coupler, you are out of tolerance. Using the feeler gauge to check your coupler, you're going to stick in between the transmission coupler and the prop shaft coupler and you're going to run it all the way around. I will run 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock on one side and then switch hands and run 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock on the other side. If you're able to get your feeler gauge in between the coupler, you have a gap. You're obviously out of tolerance. So what you do is you run that feeler gauge until it stops. So for this purpose, we'll say we stopped at 12, ran it all the way down to 6, and stopped at 6. What that tells me is the coupler is open to the port side. way to fix this is 
get a pry bar, go to the front of the engine and move it to the port side to close that gap. It shouldn't take that much of a movement. If you're running your feeler gauge, and for the purposes of this video, we'll say it stops at 3 o'clock and it stops at 9 o'clock. That tells you that your side to side is perfectly correct, but you have a gap in the top. In order to close the gap in the top, you're going to have to raise the front of the engine in order to close that gap. Note that when you move the front of the engine, you're also going to have to move the transmission in order to compensate for the movement. So, if you have a gap on the starboard side of the coupler, we'll say in the 9 o'clock position, you move the front of the engine starboard in order to close that gap, you will also have to move the transmission starboard to keep your side to side correct. This also goes for vertical movement at the front of the engine. If you raise the engine to close the gap at the 12 o'clock position, you will also have to move the transmission up slightly to compensate for that movement. If the gap is at the 6 o'clock position and you lowered the front of the engine, you will then have to lower the transmission slightly to also compensate for that movement. Once you have aligned the engine and you have no gap between the coupler, go ahead and tighten your pinch bolts. You will have two pinch bolts one for each transmission trunnion. And you have two more pinch bolts at the front of the engine that tighten on those trunnions. Once you have tightened your pinch bolts, it locks down your lateral movement. At this stage, you should not have any sideways gaps in between the couplers. It should all be vertical. So you'll either have a gap at the 12 o'clock or the 6 o'clock position. If you have a gap, at the 3 o'clock position or the 9 o'clock position, undo your pinch bolts and set your side to side. Now, I have tightened the pinch bolts on this engine. It has left me a gap at the 6 o'clock position. In order to close this, I'm going to lower the transmission slightly. That has closed my gap at the 6 o'clock position. Once your pinch bolts are tightened and you had realigned the engine again, then you can go ahead and tighten your jam nuts. And your jam nuts will lock down the vertical movement.
once you lock down your jam nuts, you need to know that you have a perfect alignment on that engine. Your transmission jam nuts are going to be a 15 16 opening. Use a open-ended wrench for it. Your front jam nuts will be an inch and an eighth wrench. Once you lock down your jam nuts, go ahead and put in your coupler bolts. <laughs> 